hello guys and welcome back in this requested video this is an automation video yes it's been long since we did these videos uh, I've been focusing on Forza a little bit but uh, not all of you guys you know like the idea of a Forza but it's okay we can uh, we can you know get back to automation because automation is an awesome game and alright let's get to it so this guy uh, on my snapchat he uh, added me because uh, as you all know on my on my channel I added my snap code so you can add me on my on snapchat and request any engine you want uh, in chatting it's okay the chat or the direct mes messages are open so this guy his name is Elvin Perry he requested a he requested an inline 6 with low profile cam and high VVL profile right so let's go Let's go aluminium. He did not request any 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 you know certain size, but I would think uh, it's a three liter engine because, as we all know, three liter engines are common in uh, for the inline sixes. So let's let's pick a 2.7 liter inline six, dual overhead camshaft, four valves per cylinder for VVL, aluminium head material VVL here. Let's see, uh, alright, forged internals, lightweight forged, lightweight forged, plus two, so it will be a, you know, a, what do you call it, a production engine, a uh, mass production engine, yes, 10.1 to 1 compression ratio, and uh, the, he wants the lowest cam profile with the highest cam profile. I know this is not efficient, I will, I will tell you why in a minute. BVT for all cams, plus two again, naturally aspirated, direct fuel injection, throttle per cylinder, performance. Or right, let's, let's stick to a standard for for a little bit. Uh, let's say uh, premium for a start, 13.7, the air fuel ratio. Uh, let's, let's hope for 7,000. No, actually, we can do 7,000 because it's a forged internals. Uh, also, we have no. Let's say short cast 277 three way reverse flow straight through plus two again. So we have 203 horsepower. This engine can rev up to 10,400, or the connecting rods can only take to 9,800. So let's see. Yes, so after 8,600, the engine will start to lose power. So I'm gonna set it to 8,500 RPM. And let me show you why you cannot just put this one to zero and this one to 100. First of all, you have the smoothness of the engine, and you have the economic or the fuel efficiency of an engine. Also, the octane is important. As you can see, if I moved it to one, we gained more fuel efficiency. We lose, uh, we we used less octane, but the engine got a little bit not smooth. So. So as you can see here, if I want to use this one, this the engine will sound like this. But first, let me adjust the exhaust system because it's restricting. 265, 66. All right. So 265 horsepower, which is good value. Let's see uh, how this engine sounds first. It sounds like a tractor engine. So the engine makes good power, but let me get to the point that I was telling. Uh, putting a super low zero cam profile is not really good because as you can see increasing it will make the power curve smoother because as you can see here, because it's two or zero, the torque is so high here because it's zero. Zero means the highest torque at low RPM. But if I look at this drop here, this is not a good drop. I mean, if this engine was in a, were in a car, you will see that the car will lose power here. I mean, it will start torquey and lose torque here, and then it will gain torque again, and that's not good in a road in a road car. So, as you can see, increasing the size of the camshaft will make the torque curve 
you know a little bit smooth it's, there's still drop here but look at the fuel efficiency and the octane so we can use 91 octane now so keep increasing it until you hit the sweet spot on the fuel efficiency and fuel octane as you can see keeping increasing it because we are using 100 profile if you if you're using a high rpm engine but after uh, you know uh, more than 8000 rpm you should use 100 profile 100 VVL profile or 100 cam profile if you if there is no VVL profile in this engine so since we are since we are revving up to 8500 100 VVL pro, uh, profile is perfect but the cam profile for the low rpm is not good as you can see now the fuel efficiency as you can see if i drop it down I will gain more smoothness, but I will lose fuel economy. And even for a performance engine, you need fuel economy because you don't want to spend your money on fuel for nothing. So as you can see, the sweet spot is 36 for 100. As you can see, the curve now it will start you know normal and it will increase the torque with your rev at uh, 1500 RPM and it will keep on smooth as good to the max. And that's I mean, look. Also, if you want to decrease the the VVL profile, I'm mean, sure you like this one. If I put it, on, if I put it on 99, I will gain extra one pound feet of torque. I'm gaining extra is good, and also I will gain fuel efficiency and less octane to burn. Sorry, yes, less burning octane, which is good. And more performance index. So also 100 is not always good. Uh, what else should we also cover in this uh, in this video? So as you can see, everything is running perfect. Let's put it on 91 octane because this engine doesn't need higher octane to work. Uh, also, let's increase the ignition timing. Ignition timing, yes, so we can gain more fuel efficiency and more power and torque. Oh, as I always say, putting it to 100 is not always good. Because as you can see, on 96 we have 22.8 fuel efficiency, but at going to 100 we have 22.7. And also the power is not different, as you can see here 186 pound feet, here 185 pound feet. So 98 is perfect for this engine, but 20 22.7. Uh, 0.1 of a 0.1 of point on of fuel efficiency is not really that important here also let's see what should we use I, I find this one strange actually in this game if you use a performance intake you will gain more fuel efficiency as you can see here but this engine will need more service and uh, this is the service cost and it will need more cooling because it's producing more power and it's a little bit loud because you know less air restriction uh, and you can hear the engine better. I mean, it will sound better too. What else should we do? Let's see. The exhaust is 98. The exhaust is 98. So everything is perfect. 